I'm not even at home right now. Watch this. I tap on this link and there it is. My ESP32 cam streaming live from my house. In this video, I'll exactly show how to set up this. First thing is, let's upload the code to ESP32 cam and I'll provide the link below in description for the code for this. So once you're done with this, if you have any error while uploading the code, so for all the errors, I have provided a playlist on how to overcome this error. Please check the link below in the description to overcome any of this ESP32 errors and try to upload the code. So once you are done with uploading the code, now click on reset button of ESP32 cam and here you can see the IP address which runs locally. So just copy this and paste it on your Chrome browser. So I'll just copy this and put it on my Chrome browser. Now, this is how we stream our ESP32 cam locally with this local IP address. The limitations for this is it works only locally. It's fine when you are at home. What if you're outside and you want to monitor your baby or your pet or any act as a security camera? So how do you make this accessible anywhere without changing router settings? That's where comes NGROC. NGROC works like a magic bridge. It takes your local ESP32 cam stream and gives you a secure public URL that works anywhere from the world. Let me show you how easy it is to do. Let's work on step by step. First, open your terminal window. So I'll just clear this up so that there's no confusion. So once you clear this, it will open a blog where I have given step by step command on how to install NGROC. I'll just open the blog link so that it is easy to copy and paste all the commands so that there is no error or mistakes. First thing is we'll have to install a home brew. In case if it's installed, just don't install it. So let's brew install this ngrock. So it will take some time if it's not installed. So I have installed it already. This is just a tutorial to show you guys. And once you're done with this command, now let's go to the authentication command. To find your authentication, we'll have to log in into our ngrock. In case if you don't have an account, you can just sign up for it. So I'll just log in into my ngrock. Just click on the first link over here and just log in into it. So we will see our dashboard on ngrock. So log in here and here you'll see the dashboard. This is how it looks. And here you can see your authentication. So authentication token. So you'll have to copy this. So this is our authentication. Just copy it over here. And here you have already the command. Once you copy this authentication, you'll have to paste it on our terminal right after you install the ngrock. So this is the command for that also. So I'll just install it. And once you're done, you're done. So our next thing is we'll have to run it on a port beat 8080 or 80 so this is how it runs this is the example i'm showing you now let's do it for the real time also i have provided the step-by-step -step command for the windows os as well please check out the blog link it's in the description below now let's see how it works for a local web scram so i'll just connect my camera to the local ip address and let's use ngrock for this so i'll copy this local ip address and paste it to my ngrock link once you give the command this is the terminal it will show so you'll have to copy this link and we'll have to paste it on our chrome browser so let's put it on our chrome browser here you can see the link just click on it and there you go your esp32 cam is global live camera this work for home automation, robotic projects, IoT projects, and even for a baby monitor. But wait, what happens if you close the NGROC or restart your PC? The link changes. In my next video, I'll show you how to make a permanent custom domain for your ESP32 cam stream. Make sure you subscribe and don't miss it. Today, we took a look at ESP32 cam from a boring local stream to global camera access anywhere. All thanks to NGROC. If this video helped you, please drop a thumbs up, comment which project you'll use ESP32 cam for and don't forget to subscribe for more IoT hacks.